What up, gang? Today I'm gonna teach you seven must-know things about you potentially getting on Spotify editorial playlists such as Rap Caviar or any of the other ones. First of all, you need to make sure, I'm gonna give you this little gold nugget before we even begin. I want to go! That you always, no matter what single it is that you're releasing, you always give yourself more than 10 days, upwards of 30 days, having the song already uploaded onto Spotify and you submit it to editorial playlists, whether or not you're gonna get posted. Because what this does is it guarantees that your song will go into the release radar of every single person who's following you. And whether you knew this or not, if you don't do that, it may not go into the release radar. That's a little secret, a little trick a lot of people don't realize. It especially probably won't go into the release radar if you don't give it ample time already uploaded. I know if you're like me, I'll change the mix on the song and pieces of the song up until the day it's gonna release. Seriously, that was really hurting me. Cause I was like, why am I not getting the, the organic boost from my songs I should be getting? It was because I was uploading the song on Monday to have it up to release on Friday and it wasn't going to release radar for my fans. So that's number one. You will be guaranteed to get into release radar if you give it ample time to upload and you do submit to editorial playlist. You're gonna learn little secrets and little tidbits most people don't even know about this and little strategies about getting yourself into those playlists, okay? And I haven't seen any other videos that have taught teaching anybody anything near this, which doesn't make any sense, but I guess that well, I'm an artist just like you. Other people aren't, so they don't really care or have to go examine and learn this stuff. But that's what I'm here for, okay? By the way, I have 21 Spotify strategies that are amazing, help you grow, get more streams, get more followers, just grow, get your monthly listeners going and help you just get up there on your Spotify and grow your Spotify. 100% free. It's beautiful. It took a lot of time for me to make, but I'm going to give it to you for free. That's what I do. The link is below. You click the link, it's yours. Free download. I'm Rob Lovell. Yes, sir. My nigga Rob Lovell in this day. Yes, sir. Big dog shit. Yeah, 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 teach you guys some stuff that nobody else is teaching you on here you're gonna get a lot smarter today all right I'm Rob level oh my god it's Rob this is smart rapper and you're gonna get smarter and learn tips and tricks that people just aren't telling people right after the intro yeah 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 I got that hustle and maneuver cut the trash I'll be back but I'll be with my shooter my pink is scratch don't want that I drive by from the uber dipping dash hit the pad burn like Freddy Krueger <laughs> So I already told you number one, if you do submit your song for editorial playlist, it guarantees your song goes into release radar. Massively important. Because if you have 5,000 fans and those 5,000 fans don't get told your new song released, it's like you didn't have any followers on Spotify. That's a problem. So make sure that you always submit to editorial playlist within your artist.spotify.com panel, okay? And if you haven't done that yet, what are you doing? Go get your panel, go verify your name. You type in how to verif get verified on Spotify. I'm the number one search for a reason. Go get yourself verified, go claim your panel, download the app, log into it, say that you're gonna be using this more than you think, okay? Number two, the thing that's gonna help you get on these Spotify curated playlists. When you go in here and you're filling out the information, the mood and the genre and all these other things, make sure that you fill it out as properly and perfectly as you can because they actually really, really use this data to help determine what song they're gonna look for to even listen to. So if you fill out the data properly and you fill out everything else like the, the bio and everything else like that about giving them a brief description, this massively helps your chances of actually getting reviewed. So what they do is they take the data that you give them and then it takes the data that Spotify has already collected about you and your fans listening to you. It combines the two and they utilize that to decide, okay? All right, next thing is you actually can only submit to editorial playlist from a main computer browser. You can't do it on a phone. It just, you can't, okay? It's, it's not set up for mobile usage. Time of me saying this, they haven't, and maybe they eventually will, but I doubt it. So you actually need to do it from a computer. So log in, artist at spotify.com, into your artist profile, and then you're gonna click upcoming on the screen. It's gonna show you your upcoming releases, and you can click which one you want to submit for editorial review, okay? Number four, I already told you this, you have to make sure that you give them ample time. The real thing is you could do it within a week, but you really, the more time you give them, the better. I recommend minimum two weeks, okay? And if you want to get into the release radar, I really recommend at least two weeks out so you make sure that you're getting seen by the people who already followed you. You've already worked really hard to get those people you deserve to be able to promote to them. Number five, just so you know, so don't ever skip out on any of these things that I'm telling you to do right now. Always utilize these every time you release a song is you can't submit for editorial playlists for songs that have already been put out. You can't. So make sure that you're doing it beforehand. And also, really, just a quick little, quick little tip here for you. I want to go. But if you're promoting your music, it's actually really smart to pre-promote your music before it comes out. Just like with the Spotify editorial playlist, promote it to blogs 
and other curators before it even comes out because they feel like they have an exclusive and will have your song first and it's massively powerful. People don't want old news or a song that came out three weeks ago. They want the song that is about to come out and feel special for being one of the first people to post it because they want to be known for people to help blow a song up. We posted it first day, we're part of the reason that song blew up, blah, blah. That's what they want. When you own a blog, right. that's what you want too, right? So it's a little quick tip for you. Pre-promote and then also promote after. But if you're promoting the blogs and everywhere else and curators, try to do it beforehand, okay? Number six, you can't pay to get on editorial playlist. Okay? But lucky for you, this doesn't cost anything. You can submit your song to get on playlist. In the, in this, with, on the Spotify playlist for real, and they will review your music if they believe that it matches and it's right, and they'll put you on a real playlist. It, it's 100% free for you to submit your songs. So you not doing it, it's just stupid on your part. The only reason why you wouldn't is if you didn't have the ample time having the song pre-uploaded. But if you're smart, you actually make a strategy of all your songs you're gonna release ready for the next six months. Cause that's what I do now. So that I don't have any bumps in the road. No hiccups, they're mixed, mastered, finished, ready to go. I know every song I'm releasing from now until the end of 2021. What's up? It's my year, son. Thug life. Number seven, which is a tip that I really need you to know, and a lot of people don't know this, is you can only submit one song at a time for editorial review from Spotify. And why it's important to know this is because this means if you're releasing one song a month, which I recommend you do one new song every four to six weeks, not only because Spotify rewards you, but it's because your fans will be happier and you'll grow your fan base faster with new music and keeping your fans happy so they never forget about you. Let's say you pre-upload three songs. You say one's gonna release in June, one's gonna release in July, one's gonna release in August. And you have all the dates and it's pre-uploaded through DistroKid, which I do recommend DistroKid if you don't have a distribution platform yet that you're using to put your music on Spotify, use DistroKid. And you get a discount if you use my affiliate link. It's smartrapper.com slash DK as in DistroKid, okay? That's what I use. If you're using DistroKid, you choose the exact date you want the song to release. So if you choose one month apart from one another, when you click it, when you're setting your artist Spotify panel, you can click submit to re for review. When that song releases, it comes out of the upcoming section and goes into your already released section. Now the only two songs left will be your next two releases, right? And if you have a, a month apart from, from each one of them, you now can just click submit for review for the next single and you'll have 30 days before this one even releases if you do this the day that your other single release because it moves out of this and now you submit this one. Now you have 30 days for, for the Spotify playlist curators to actually check your song out. Then when this day comes and this releases, it's going to go on in release radar. You may get on a playlist from Spotify. Now your next one's up. Now you click submit here because you can only do one at a time. But that's why if you pre-upload them, day that it releases, just submit the next one. Now you're 30 days out. You're good. And that's why it's, ha it's good to have it pre-planned. And there's some little tricks and some strategies for you guys, okay? For free, 100%. Go get my 21 Spotify strategies. You need them. You're going to love it. It's beautiful. I spent a lot of time making it. But it's going to help you and I'm giving it to you for free. Click below, 100% yours. It's gonna give it to you, download, boom, right to you, okay? And don't, and don't forget, I have Spotify courses that are top rated crazy, people loving them, helping so many artists blow up. Just look at the testimonials on them. When you go get the free download, it's also after that, it's gonna show you the Spotify spiker that I'm talking about. Right. So you can just check it out, see if you wanna get it or not, all right? Make sure you hit the subscribe button on here. I have tons more of these videos. You learned a lot in this video, but there's more stuff coming, okay guys? So make sure you're subscribed and let that bell is hit when you subscribe so you get notified. I'm gonna keep growing, I'm gonna keep showing, I'm gonna keep helping you out. Keep hustling, gang. I'll see you at the top. Yeah, 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 I got that hustle and maneuver. Cut the trash, I'll be bad, but I'll be with my shooter. My pink is scratch, don't want that. I drive by from the Uber. Dipping dash, hit the pad, burn like Freddy Krueger.